Where'd the Manta Queen go? Hmm. I'm waiting for her to show up, just be like, up there. Before I fell off, I wanted to see my companions, like, wind up up there and just shoot everybody. They could probably handle it. In fact. No can do. Sorry, I can't. I can't do that. Fine. <laughs> I'll do it myself then. This is one of the most open sightlines we've had in the whole game. So I think I'm finally seeing what a crit looks like. And it's the number... It's a damage number showing up with an exclamation point after it. Which is... Crazy subtle, in comparison to any other way that they usually handle it. The hell? Look up. What's he doing up there? Oh. Who the hell is Berthold Fox? Little help here so we both don't die! Mandibles of Doom! Kill the Manta Queen! Yeah, I can do that. Ow, it set me on fire before I... I stopped it. Please stop burning me. Ouch. Hi there. That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. Huh. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Berthold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking, please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Killing marauders and hooligans, as I am handsomely paid to do. Of course. As me and Constance discovered, they ain't the only forms of life inhabiting these caverns. I owe you a debt for saving my neck, stranger, and I mean to pay it. There's a station up the way. It's where my C3s are posted. We can talk more there where it's safe. I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Well, uh... I wish you luck with that. <laughs> Is there actually? A <laughs> I was gonna look around and see if we could actually find Constance. You know, I feel like a torso split in two would be pretty easy to notice. But I don't think there actually is. I don't think Constance exists as a as a thing for us. Okay, it was worth it to come in the cavern. Killed a bunch of uh, manta pillars. Well, mantasaurs. There we go. I was trying to find like the overall species name. Uh, killed a bunch of mantasaurs, the manta pillars, the manta queens. We've done this planet a service. Oh no. The planet has done me a disservice. Huh. Okay. I got bullshit, dude. Oh my god. Ow. Okay. I don't know if I... I think I went the other way the last time. Did I just hear a growl? Where was my autosave, actually? I'm wondering if it was before or after I killed the Manta Queen. I feel like it was after. Because I was standing next to a body, and I wasn't doing that before I killed the Manta Queen. Yeah. Yeah, it's dead. 
Good, 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 good. Meet me at the camp. And try not to get shot on approach. I don't make any guarantees because it depends on who shoots first. So I feel like the normal way you're supposed to come into these caverns is from the bottom. And then you work your way from the bottom up to the top, exiting out to the top of the mountain. Because it doesn't seem like there's any other way up from, uh, from like, say, down there. Ah, uh, there are creatures here. Hmm. There we go. I've made it. Oh my god, this acid lasts forever! So... Anything down here for me, you know? Besides a cool view? Oh! <laughs> yes, ladies! Time to turn on anti-air mode! The turrets have activated. I'm still wondering where that Manta Queen that was down here is. Because we killed her the first time around, and then the second time, I didn't see her. Ooh. Tremor Cleaver Ultra! Great work. I'm a bit lost in these caves. Where were the enemies I was shooting beforehand? That's where we came in from. But none of the mantisaur bodies are down there. Which has me concerned. Where do they go? They vanished. Alright. We're gonna go over here, because that's obviously uh, an exit. Or an entrance, both really. But I want to see if there's any enemies around the front of it. We can take them out. Auntie Cleo's diet toothpaste. Did they ever actually finish making it though? Ah. So this is what she meant when she said the river. We actually were right here. Oh my god. We went up and to the left over here. Huh. Fast travel location unlocked. Nice. Honestly, we could probably just go up the mountain faster. If I go into the cave, I have to go into the cave, and then down and around, and then up and around. Whereas with this, I just have to go up and around. And we already killed everything, uh, on the way up, so, yeah, it's fine. What's your opinion on Outer world so far? I like it. There are a couple things lacking. But, overall, it's a fun time. Body. June Leia liked casserole, right? Everyone likes a casserole. I mean, I don't really, but I don't count. <laughs> no cakes. Cakes I like. Gosh, I hope she likes them too. Yeah? I, I mean, what do you need? Captain? Mister? Sir? <laughs> Bravati. <laughs> Look, try not to worry about it. She likes you. Clearly. 
Anything you do for her, she will appreciate. And if she doesn't, she ain't the right one for you anyway. You got a whole galaxy of fish out there. Maybe actual you space fish. There are marauders up ahead. What the hell? Oh, no. How the hell did marauders navigate the caverns? Uh, hi there. Are you sure about this? Wonder if Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. The guy never sets foot outside. Is he in there? I wonder how they punch a signal through the gas giant's magnetic field. Can't be easy. What are you talking about, Parvati? We're having a bunch of different conversations. Hi there. This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. Uh, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> a coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. <laughs> You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. Um. Uh, well, shouldn't you be doing something about that? It's your job to protect the station. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with, and that's guarding these big old devil's peak horns. Okay. Well, why don't you help me out? There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book, usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. Oh, uh, how do I find the other C3s? See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there. Okie dokes. I mean, I already ran into your boss man inside the caves. I saved his life. I wonder if they would have told me to go down there and try and save him. Like, we haven't seen our captain in a while. He went into the caves with Constance. Hey, C3s. Berthold. Hey, Mana Queen Slayer. Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Ooh. Then we call it even between us. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> kind of odd for a group of mercs to label themselves as a corporate entity. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures. Lance handles the human capital, and Donald is our charming public face. Charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. Okay. Well, I have a strong doubt about that, but, uh, sure, sure, C3. Why are you guys guarding this station? We were hired to do so. Why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But, I can't fault his work ethic. Ah! Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. Wait, really? Okay, well... I'll call it even if you help me. Wipe out the Marauders at the broadcast station. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the Marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are... Mm, murky. Oh, my lord. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. You guys have to be the laziest Merc crew at Halcyon. Oh, that'd be me. No, 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 no. So let's do this. We recommended the client safeguard himself, so I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostels on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Sweet. Well, I need to talk to the public face of, uh, you know, hey, how you doing, Donald? 
We're locked and loaded. Join Hudson, know you're coming. He'll back you in the frontal assault on Devil's Peak. Thanks, Donald. Thank the architect, Bertold's back. Thank the okay. architect, Bertold's back. Got a problem? Back. Maybe I can help. Right. So what? Uh, what do you guys got in here? Thunder. Hold on. Perfect for a young gun with a quick fuse. <laughs> We've got a specialized assault rifle here. It's just got terrible DPS versus what we currently got, but nice. Mm. What's the full cranial helmet? It's a 38 love thing. Okay, <laughs> I just didn't know if I had to like choose what to unlock there. What I just do? Oh God, I went to sleep. <laughs> I went to sleep by sheer accident. It's okay. It's never nighttime here. So yeah, <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> Hiram is locked up in a facility, and these guys are like, eh, well, they technically didn't come in from the caves, so uh, we'll leave them be. What the fuck's going on up here? Raptodons? No, more marauders. Is this a secret way to the back door? Or are we just literally making our way to the summit? I'm exploring. Sundered rock discovered the hammer of Olympus. Ooh. Wouldn't it be great if this hammer was made by Hephaestus? But it wasn't. Our mid ballistics made it. Oh, speaking of, you know, you know thinking of, of mythological figures, Loki, Veneer, thank you for your Twitch Prime subscription. Is there anything else up on this mountain? It's actually much bigger than I thought it was going to be. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oop. Oh my god, I destroyed his head! Wait for it. They're checking out the body, and... BLAM! Explode the head! Transfer the damage! It didn't transfer the damage. Well, at least it looks cool. So now when I snipe someone's head... It literally blows up their head. Uh, okay. I was like, are these floating beds? No, no. They're not that ridiculous. Oh, there's a music box there. I was thinking about earlier when we uh, last triggered something like that. they currently wearing it for helmets 41 41 well, that 38 helmet actually could be upgraded to something pretty nice with tinkering oh another mega manticweed knock it down Man, we have multiple ways up this mountain. Ooh, a shot cannon ultra. That sounds fun. Uh, 
The problem is its DPS is really low. And for me, DPS is key. If I'm gonna use something, it's gotta be... If I'm gonna use something new, it's gotta be relatively equivalent to some of these other things that we're using. The only way I will, will accept a low DPS is if it's a high outright damage, and this... I don't know, I mean, this could be, like... It's a heavy weapon, so... Could be cool. But it's also a shock weapon, and meh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, not sure about this. Also, why was this thing named? Carquinos. It probably had a bounty on it or something. Okay, inventory was way too filled up there. But yeah, I need to like find a grenade launcher level two. You know, give that another whirl. Ooh. I like, I like their generic sitting up skeleton that they've used multiple times. You know, this massive motherfucker. Anti manti ray. Hmm. Whoa. Acid is great against auto mechanicals and armored humans. Too bad mantis or neither. Huh. What the fuck is this? It's a. I think it's a burst. It's a burst fire rifle. Which we've seen before. I just I never use them because you know me. I'm not a massive fan of. A burst fire guns. Yeah, this sucks. Okay. <laughs> you know. I thought it'd be On behalf of everyone who gets the creepies from Big Bugs, I vote we head back to the ship for a shower. Who's with me? Pravati, you barely shower. But, you know, yeah, we get the heebie-jeebies from these guys. I feel like I kind of want to sell some of these things more than I actually want to, like, break them down. Alright, well now that we've cleared the other half of the mountain that I didn't even know we could go up, because... Yeah, so you're, I, I just followed the, the established road here. I didn't even know I could come up from, from this way. But now I do. Not that we'll probably ever need to really come up to here too often, except for to deal with Hiram, if he's even all that important. We might literally just talk to him once and never deal with him again. Well, I guess we'll find out. If there's a fast travel point, it's a place we're meant to come back to multiple times. Maybe. I don't think C three has moved on up. Is there anything over here? That's the cave entrance. Okay. Well, I think it's time to launch the assault. There you are. Bossman said you'd be up this way. With regroup, I always wanted to poke through a high gain wireless. They only got one on Terra two, you know, up in Byzantium. To be honest, I'm surprised it's still standing. Every time I set foot inside, I half expect the tower to fall over. Yeah, that thing right there? Hmm. Also, wait. Byzantium's on Terra 2? Oh, shit. Okay. I thought Byzantium was on a different planet entirely that we didn't have access to. I thought Byzantium was literally its own place. Um. Hmm. Fox radioed ahead. Said I'm to follow you. Provide whatever support you need. If those bastards start shooting, we'll join in. 
I gotta warn you, my girl Sunshine here is a tad trigger happy. Of course, me and her will follow your lead. Just wanted you to know we wouldn't begrudge you of any violent inclinations. Thanks, Joy. <laughs> your gun's a trigger happy one. Or are you are. Ain't it the same, really? I'd say me and my piece mean each other halfway on the issue. She likes to be used, and I like to put her to good use. As so very often as I can. We can tell friend from foe, mind you. But it's probably best not to walk directly in front of us. Right. Well, uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna Whatever deal with it. you need. Just don't take too long. Idling makes me want to shoot something. Okay. Well, we've got a bunch of marauders doing their marauder thing of standing around waiting to get murdered by me. But maybe there's some other way we can resolve this issue. Pure stealth. <laughs> We're not gonna pure stealth. Although, my stealth is 97, right? 96. And then if I were to slap on a sneak mod. Sneak helmet. And then a sneak armor. That would put me at 116 stealth. Hmm. I feel like, uh, 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 let's see. Oh. Oh no! Well, you know, I mean, that, 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 that went bad pretty quickly there. Okay. I was gonna say, more than likely, it's not gonna be that amazing. Although, to be fair, he did turn around on us, and I didn't expect stealth would make us invisible. But I was going to outright say that, no, I just wanted to see how much, how, like, how close we could sneak up on a target. And the answer is... Mm, kind of? He kind of was turning around already, so I'm not actually fully sure. But yeah, usually in games where you, like, max out your stealth, <laughs> there are a lot of times you can literally just fucking like rub faces with the enemy. Hey guys! They're just walking here like, well, good job. Wow, everything's done. Hold on, I'm uh. Stealth mode, or not stealthing, I'm, I'm slowly walking my way up. No. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, my melee sucks. Nine damage? Oh. I can slow run. <laughs> Ugh. Hiram must have sealed the door. He's... he spooks easy. I mean, to be fair, he did have a gang of marauders on him. Can I hack the door open? Right. Can I go through a side door? Yes, I can. But first, let me talk to C3, see what they think of the situation, considering they literally did not help at all. We ain't responsible for the interior, so I guess you get to party without us. Good luck, stranger. Wait, what? Your boss said that you guys would help me with the interior. Well, he might have already gone in. Okay, alright. I'm walking on up. I don't need to go fast inside, and just maybe there's a vending machine in there for the sake of the player. Oh, this is a lot of enemies, holy shit. You may not realize this being as you're an outsider, but the blaring alarms indicate the station's on lockdown. Which means you can't ever get to me. So leave already. <laughs> can't? We'll see about that. Yeah, look, once we kill all these marauders, you'll you'll lock, unlock this place.
No. Oh, hi there. <laughs> I went around the corner expecting an enemy, but not to be like running at me like that. Well, it's not like I can get over over encumbered, right? Here's the elevator, but it ain't gonna budge while this place is on lockdown. Guess we keep moving forward. Look for another way up. Yeah, I'll do that right as soon as I'm done actually grabbing me some of these other things. Ooh, dodge. We could use one of my levels to get my dodge skill up. Also, holy shit. 242 damage, security blade ultra. That's something I could just toss at one of my other people. Electro charge surface. Oh, meh. I do need to mod one of my armors. Ooh. Post armor damage dealt plus 15%. You know, part of that makes me wonder if I could if there's anything I could slap it on. I think my guns are all modded up though. Yeah, all the slots are filled up. Oh, this already has a post armor damage dealt thing on it. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. I feel like I could probably just sell everything. The only thing I don't really want to sell is the full cranial helmet and the heavy construction armor. Because I can give those to Parvati. Lock. I wonder if- oh, you know what? I just thought of a negative to the the armor boosting thing we have. So if I were to equip this elite trooper armor, for example, I wonder if it doubles the negative, like the negative five stealth skills too. I'll have to test that real quick. Okay, now we can sell some of these guns. Sell the junk too. And I wish it, I'm actually, uh, it's weird that they don't show you how many kilograms you're carrying inside this area here. We're gonna sell some of my medical stuff. Because we've got three pages of this and uh I'm I'm pretty sure I don't need all of this. I'm not making great use of it. got rid of 18 kilograms. Gosh. That's okay, fine, whatever. Back to spamming pickup on everything. Hello, anyone inside of this little jail? No? Well, it's mine now. I guess it's not really a jail. It's more of like an armory. Oh, environmental control card. Nice. My mem uh, memorandum. Environmental controls installation and key card. Barb, the new environmental controls terminal is now installed and running. Upstairs. Congratulations. You messaged corporate about it. You get to manage it. Consider this your official notice to hide its access key card deep in the bottom of a drawer somewhere, preferably within the archives or in one of the station's other popular sections. Because I sure as hell will, will not allow our station's efficiency scores to plummet due to a pointless safety feature. 
Don't even think about testing the system out. The emergency sirens will make your ears bleed, and if you accidentally trigger the fire suppression system, it can suck the air from the room faster than the station's last performance review. <laughs> Holy shit! Damn, that's dark.